Well, good morning, guys. Good morning and welcome to a very wet <laughs> River Wye. As you can see, it's been sunny for days and days and days and I arranged a session with my friend Harry, who's just setting up over there. We've come to do a bit of trotting today and we've got some biblical rain this morning, although it is supposed to dry up in sort of three or four hours time. It's about 5 a.m. now. We're going to do, as I say, a bit of trotting. Gear's out there already, as you can see. The uh, rod, I've got my standard trotting set up here, my Daiwa Tournament Pro and my Abu 506 Mark II close face reel. I'll, uh, I'll link you in up there if you want to see exactly how I set this up for trotting. Suffice to say, I've got a Drake stick float on there and we're going to be fishing a gully, which is on the far side over there. I'm going to be feeding hemp, feeding pellets uh, and using meat on the hook may use maggots i've got some maggots with me as well but probably going to stick to meat and possibly some pellets on the hook as well it's proper tanking it down at the moment so we're not in a massive rush to get started we've got all day uh, and obviously a very long day at the moment we can fish till about half nine something like that so uh, yeah plenty of time <laughs> plenty of time and as i say it's going to stop raining i've got a few more bits and pieces with me which as and when and if we use them we'll go through that but uh, i think for now i'm gonna Go and get get my bait sorted, get it out on the bait waiter and uh, we'll have a crack. So guys, first cast of the day in the pouring rain. That's what we can do. Gosh, this is quite unpleasant, I have to say. <laughs> a lot more pleasant if we catch some fish. We're just planning on sharing this swim today. May go for a bit of a wander downstream. We'll just have to play it by ear, see what conditions dictate, see what the fish tell us. See where they want us to be. And that's run through nicely. Perhaps I need to deepen off a little bit. We're not tripped under at all. Not going to go too far down. We don't need to. We don't need to run a long way down yet. Probably seen something splashing here. Might have been a trout or something, but something came out earlier on. We were setting up. Let's see. We'll just edge deeper until we uh, connect with a fish or the bottom and then we'll back off a bit the good thing here is you can get out far enough to really hold the hold the float back which means you can run it through at nice speed Still not gone under. Oh, right. oh, not me. I didn't realise I had a bite. <laughs> right down the bottom of the swim. <laughs> Just bringing it back. Little chublet. <laughs> well, we're off the mark. <laughs> it's still not dragging under. It's very strange. Dragged under then, I think. Oh no, it's a fish. <laughs> I thought I got the bottom, but I've got a fish. Oh guys, we're in. <laughs> Not been easy this morning. Yeah, I think this must be a barbel because it feels like I got the bottom. <laughs> I think so. It's moving, but I do feel like I've got the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I can't do a lot with this at the minute. It's just old in there. <laughs> Limey. Yeah, this is no chub. Oh, hello. Well, guys. First barbel. Can we land it? Hopefully. He's off downstream at the minute. It's just, just holding. feels like a good fish yeah I, I can't do anything with it at all just holding there <laughs> well we're making a bit now
<laughs> it's stale, mate. <laughs> I've gained a bit. <laughs> I've gone a bit quiet, guys. It's uh, <laughs> it's hard work. <laughs> it feels like a de decent fish. not charging about like a little I can see the float yeah it's gone again <laughs> she's now trying to get under that tree Get him out of that fast flow. Start. I don't even see it yet. This water's a bit coloured again, isn't it? Cool. I've woken up a bit now. What a scrap! Blimey! Got him! <laughs> well guys, what a scrap that was in the pouring rain. We'll have a quick look at him. We reckon about eight and a half, something like that. He's very lively. So <laughs> hopefully we'll get a look at him before he uh, lets himself go. How's about that? First barbel of the season. Very happy with that. <laughs> what a scrap on this, uh, on this float gear. Wonderful. Right, we'll get him straight back. <laughs> Gone. So guys, we're back. It's uh, a couple of hours since you last saw us. It's absolutely caned it down with rain since I had that barbel. Harry's been fishing most of that two hours, perhaps an hour and a half. So he's had a chub good one as well it's pushing pushing five pound cracking job so from that's been a bit quiet there's been lots of fish splashing about in the shallows above us chub i think they're uh, having a bit of a go at spawning there's some barbel jumping in here but it's uh, it's not been easy by any stretch of the imagination it's just eased off raining it's supposed to be sort of on and off the rest of the day well, i've had to change my coat my coat was absolutely soaked through and uh, it's brand new and a good one. So you can see how much um, it's been raining. It's been horrendous. So, as I say, I sort of hid the camera away and we're back out now for another go. The camera's pretty waterproof, but I didn't want it out in that horrendous weather. Just because it's not 100% waterproof and it was raining so hard. I didn't want to uh, damage it so hard for so long as well hopefully the worst of it's over now but I've been barbel jumping out in here but I hooked that one a long old way down there I say hopefully the worst of it's over now according to the forecast right, I think I need to get out a bit further yet 
just to keep that float in the flow. <laughs> well, somebody's just attacked my float down there. <laughs> and again, so it's having the right go at my float. <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? <laughs> Fishing on the bottom and somebody's attacking the float. There's clearly fish here. <laughs> They're just not really on these baits at the moment, I think. Maybe uh, early season. They're not quite got back on the baits yet. As much as perhaps they will in a few weeks. Not the bite. There we go. Yep, this is a this is a barbell, <laughs> I'm sure. Thump thump. It's just hugging that bottom. Oh, that's trying to get under that tree. I think it is anyway. I don't think it's a chub. Doesn't feel as big as that last one. I don't think you want too many of them today though, that's for sure. I took, uh, I'm not going to put all the fight in of that last bubble, obviously. It took uh, took 10 minutes to get it in. <laughs> This is a chub, it's coming in very easily now. It feel like a barbell though. It is a chub, blimey. Is it a good impression? Sure that was a barbell then. God, a decent old chub, that's why. God, another clonking chub. Oh. How about that? That's a chub and a half. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Well, you really have me fooled then. Didn't do the chubby head shakes or anything. Absolutely wonderful. Clonking chub. <laughs> fooled me. Did that, just kept very low and didn't do a lot. It really made me think that was a barbel. I gave up a bit too easily <laughs> to be a barbel. <laughs> clearly in here <laughs> I mean that's no monster but uh, clearly a barbel <laughs> I'm not dragging under I'm, I'm holding back quite hard but I'm not dragging under so I'll perhaps go a little bit deeper fishing a uh, good six foot here so I'm holding back quite hard though so Bait's, uh, bait's not, perhaps not too close to the bottom. Let's try that. There we go. <laughs> Let that run through a bit faster then. Float absolutely shot away. What are we on to this time? <laughs> well, stalemate again. He wants to get into the tree, and I don't want him to. This tells me it's possibly a chub. He's sort of giving up a bit as well. Hmm, sort of. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I think it's a bit too much weight to be a job.
Oh, 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 well, uh, yeah, that's not so busy. <laughs> I don't let him get under that tree though, because I don't know what's under there. I'm keeping him out at the moment. He's determined to get under that. some line and he takes it all back straight off god blimey oh looks pulled ah that's frustrating ah very frustrating looks pulled oh annoying that's the same. Felt like a decent fish as well. Well, as I say, can't win them all. I kept him out of that tree about four times. Determined to get in there. Nothing wrong with the hook. It's just not had a great hook hold. Well, guys, I've gone... Uh, 20 minutes or so without a bite, probably 25 minutes. So as you can tell from that, certainly not prolific. Harry's had a couple of chub. He's, you can probably see him, he's down there. He's moved about 60 metres downstream, something like that. To have a little go down there. Oh, there we go. I just we had no bite and we've just had one. Let's look at chub again. Telltale head shakes. Looks like a decent one there. Eh? Yeah, it's been. Oh, yeah, I should think 25 minutes. So, if we've had a bite. So, as I was saying, it's not exactly prolific. But, you know, we are getting bites. As I mentioned, Harry's had a couple down there, a couple of chub. This, I think, is most certainly a chub. I certainly don't mind catching chub. Harry's not a great fan. He's allergic to him. <laughs> Just wants to catch barbel. But I'll happily catch these fellas. Especially when they're a decent size like that. <laughs> no beast, but cracking fish. <laughs> Mouthful of lunch and meat. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, we're in. Oh, I thought the bottom again. <laughs> sure, at the bottom then. It's uh, it's moving. <laughs> ah. Yeah, be that as it may. It's quite barbly. Really does just feel like I've got the bottom. But it is moving. Very slowly. Well, certainly. <laughs> certainly just plodding around. <laughs> it's not doing a lot. But it is definitely moving. It really does feel like I've got the bottom. This must be a barbel, it's, uh, it's proper pulling. Bringing them up this very fast water is a bit tricky though. 
think it must be a barbel. It is. Like a decent one as well. We won't reach for the net just yet until uh, we have got him beaten. Like, <laughs> that's what they always do. <laughs> I suddenly realise that uh, they're coming towards you. They have one look at you. <laughs> Decide they're not going to bother. <laughs> He's off. It's a decent one. It's no, no monster, but just that size where they really, really, really fight. <laughs> now, is he beaten this time? Hopefully. <clears throat> oh, that's a nice fish. Cracking. So guys, we'll have a quick look at this one. Another fantastic scrap. Absolutely wonderful. Cracking. Wonderful fishing down here on the Y. Right, let's get him straight back. Very good rest in the net. Blimey, a leaping. <laughs> a leaping out behind us. <laughs> and again. Blimey. We'll give this one the uh, recovery he needs. Some lovely fast water here, as I'm sure you can see. Nice oxygenated water. I'm just going to hold him head upstream till he's ready to go. There he goes. Well, it's turned into a reasonable day. Bit of blue sky. Sun's trying to come out. It's going to stop raining for now, anyway. Oh, he's had another go. He's had a few chub. I shall have another go if I can keep a bit of luncheon meat on. It's about half ten now, something like that. So we've got plenty of time left. Let's see what we can do. Nice to get the coat off and uh, have less restricted movement. Started to introduce a bit more feed as well as we're getting a few bites. It certainly seems to be uh, picking up a bit. It's a bit sporadic still. I was a bit concerned after I had that first little chub and then barbel and then we went a couple of hours without really any bites. I think that's possibly to do with the weather as well. Proper hammering down with the rain, I don't know, didn't seem to help the fishing at all. Hopefully, it'll uh, get better and better as we keep feeding the swim. Seems to be some fish about anyway. That's a, certainly a good start, isn't it? Faster water is usually best bet this time of year, it's a bit more oxygenated. We've got some uh, shallower water above us running over gravel. So, uh, you know, the, the water gets oxygenated as it passes over there. I think the fish like it up here. So jumping out down there again. Look. I think I mentioned earlier, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to my gear and my setup um, in the cards. But uh, I know some platforms don't have cards, so I'll, I'll stick a link in the description at the bottom as well. It's over on the uh, sister channel, the Fishing, fishing Tips and tactics channel that we've got. <laughs> Definitely some fish about it. <laughs> Let's see what that was, but it did have a bronzy colour to it. Ooh, that was a bite. Well, these fish are all covered in, in lice again. I think that's what makes them crash out and jump out and flank against rocks and stuff there. Trying to scratch themselves. So guys, all seasons in one day. Today, as you can probably see, <laughs> nah, really hot and sunny, which was not forecast. But I'm not complaining too much. Harry's been in here for an hour or so. Not really done any good. So 
I'm gonna have a crack now, see what we can do. Wind's picked up as well, it's blowing a bit. Downstream breeze, which is not ideal, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, they're not, uh, not giving themselves up easily today, by any means. Obviously, we've got the best time of the day to come, which will be later. Not find any consistency in really how they want this bait either today. It's sometimes when you're running it through slowly, they'll hit it, and other times, if you let it go through fast, they'll hit it. It's uh, a bit of a strange one. if we were in I thought we were thought maybe it's the bottom I just deepened off a little bit but this is determined to get into that tree <laughs> absolutely determined but I think it's a job <laughs> I think we've we've got him out Yeah, I just deepened off a bit, so <laughs> I did think I'd got the bomb. I think it's a fish. I also think it's a chub. <laughs> it feels a decent fish, though. But it does feel like a chub. <laughs> thump, thump, thump. Job. Well, here's another, another nice fish, another male that's uh, very excited. So I was back at it. I was thinking about trying some maggots, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. Unfortunately, Harry, Harry's just lost a barbel. So, I think perhaps we'll persevere with what we're doing at the moment with the lunch and meat. Get that sorted out, there we go. So yeah, hopefully, perhaps I can have one. They've been... Uh, conspicuous by their absence most of the day but we are coming up to the best time and it has been quite sunny it's rained a bit again which may have helped things along a bit there we go that's something first run through Feels chubby. Thump, thump, thump. Well, that was nice. First run through. <laughs> Just teasing the meat through. Holding it back quite hard. And yeah, that's it. Oh, and he's off. Well, that's the way to let him go, isn't it? <laughs> Result first run through, though. Right, come on, Mr. Barble. There we go, and again. Second run through. Again, I think it's a chub. I don't think it's putting up too much, uh, enough resistance <laughs> to be a barble, and it's kiting in. I do a good impression just for a few seconds. Well, this is another nice one. Hopefully this one will stay on. He 
really will. Fantastic. The fish are out there jumping. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Good idea staying on the meat, I think. Two runs through, two fish. One dropped off at the net, so to speak. And again, same place. <laughs> Getting that flow, it's just <laughs> I try and get under the tree. <laughs> God, powering that flow. Getting towards that tree. This one's pulling back a bit. I'm wondering if it's a, it's a barber, but no, I think he's given up a bit too much now. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's off again. <laughs> Perhaps it is. I haven't had any head shakes yet. It's no monster, if it is. Certainly, give me a good workout, whatever it is. Oh, blimey. I don't think it can be a chub. I think you'd have given up by now. God, I'm bending this rod. Blimey. Yeah, it's can't be a chub. There he is. Come on this time. Come on, Mr. Bertie. God. Some pressure on that line. Nope, he's not done yet. Come on, Mr. Barble. In you get. Got him. Fab. Well, there we are. No monster at all, but... Uh, very very welcome what a cracking scrap absolutely fantastic it's wonderful <laughs> right back you go fella so guys well, harry was gonna have a go he's had a little go but he's had a bit of a flirtation with the bottom and lost his olivet and stuff so while he's just having a little sort out i'm gonna have another dabble it's about half five now quarter to six something like that so we're getting towards the uh, business end of the day. And stacks of chub today. I don't know how many. Completely lost track. I have to have a, a look back on the footage and have a count. Just out of interest. Not quite stood in the right place there at the moment. <laughs> Could do with being a little bit further out can't hold back as hard as I'd like we'll, uh, we'll go out a little bit further a few bits of meat in my pouch I'll keep messing about with the bait waiter that's better just, just a bit better being out here I can just get that rod tip right behind the float hold it back as it goes past that tree seems to be fairly successful at the moment oh some big old boulders down here just hold that back a bit harder as it goes through there without it kiting in there we go look
just been out that a little bit further. And this is feeling a bit bobbly. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I can't think it can be into the bobble straight away. No, that was a chubby head thump on another one. Yeah, it's not giving me enough of a work over to be a bobble. There he is. You see, I just managed to get out just that bit further so I could hold back hard. I think holding back hard has been the key today because the water's coloured. Just give them a chance to, to see the bait. Oh, that's a lovely fish, that is. Absolutely cracking. Oh, just nicked it in the corner of the mouth. Come on, there you go. There we go. <laughs> cracking. Another male that's rather overexcited. There he goes. Fantastic. Right. Let's get out here again with these big boulders. That is the key. Just trundling this float past that tree fairly slowly. Well, it's not the only place we've had bites. We have had lots of bites there. And because of that, I've gone quite deep. I reckon I'm about nine foot deep. I reckon the water's about six foot. Because I'm holding back so hard, we're still not tripping bottom. Probably eight foot. I'm going. I'm not getting troubled by the bottom at all. Very rarely, but if, as soon as I stop holding back, I do. The more you can get out behind the float, the more you can control it. It's the trick. That's what all the wading's about. <laughs> Control that line. And that's why nice long rods as well for float fishing generally. Certainly natural venues moving water. There we go. Cool. A proper rattle. Three proper pulls. <laughs> it's been 10 or 15 minutes since the last bite I thought perhaps it would get pick up a bit this time of night but it sort of is but in fits and starts really This is suddenly woken up. I'm suddenly starting to think this is a barbell. A funny old bite. No. Chubby head shakes. <laughs> this is a nice fish though. Whatever it is. Oh, I think it's a barbell. I did wonder. I think it's a smallish barbel. It did feel a bit strange. It's a funny sort of bite as well, as I said. Very strange. <laughs> bite of a little barbel. <laughs> I think that's that one that's been porpoising out all day. <laughs> About the same size. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the net's all inside out. There we go. <laughs> A bit unceremonious, but he's in there. <laughs> it's like <laughs> two and a half pound or three pound or something. <laughs> Lovely little fish, though. <laughs> very wiry little fella we'll have a quick look <laughs> fantastic 
<laughs> Back you go. God, we weren't hanging about. Fantastic. That's a reasonable distance down as well. Certainly wasn't in this gully. It was where it starts to open out. Just beyond the tree. At the end of that willow. That's in the water. So the gully sort of opens out. A sort of rocky outcrop across here. There we go. Another one. Same place. This is off like a train. <laughs> well, I'm sure this is a barbell and it's just off. This and that, exactly that place. We had that one a minute ago. About three or four trots through ago. Although it's now come right into the bank like a chub. <laughs> I think it is a chub. It's absolutely given up. Come on. It's a nice fish. That's why you uh, give me the run around. Cracking fish. Wonderful. God. Just nipped in there. I think with a bigger hook on we'd have lost that. Wow, well, all of a sudden we get a few bites again. Oh, that was a barbel. <laughs> Seem to be down there now. Seem to have dropped a bit further down. I've not been running through too far because we've been getting a lot, a lot of the bites sort of later on in the day have been right up under this tree. But certainly we've had that one barbel down there now. And that chub just, and that one's just come out down there. So it looks like they've dropped down the stretch a bit. And possibly the fact that, you know, I'm here and keep catching them. Or well, perhaps now as the light levels are starting to drop a little bit, they don't feel they need the cover of that tree, perhaps. And the depth in this gully, because it does sort of shallow up slowly as it comes out of this gully as well. fish or the bottom <laughs> well it's moving very very sluggishly but it's moving I didn't even see a bite I was just about to bring the float back well this is no little fish that's for sure I'm not sure it even knows it's hooked at the moment. Yeah, I just saw, saw a little pluck on the on the float and I thought oh, that's gone far enough. I thought perhaps it'd trip bottom. Did the usual give it a bit of a strike on the at the bottom of the cast of the run through on me. Blimey. It's just trudging, it doesn't it doesn't know it's hooked. Certainly a barbel, certainly hooked in the right place. It's for a minute think practice it was foul hooked, but it was wasn't coming in like a foul hooked fish. I'm not reaching for that net just yet. I don't think he's ready yet. He's not done anything. <laughs> That's a strange fight from a barbel. It's just kinda Going round and round in circles. Are we going to be able to get him in before uh, he does give us a proper beating? I 
think we are. I think he's done. What a strange fight. Got him. Bit of a lively fella, but we'll attempt to have a look at him. <laughs> there we are. That's about that. Cracking. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Get him straight back. Gone. Right between my legs. <laughs> well, again, that was a that was a long old way down. Proper long way down. Just on the merest twitch on a float as well. It was not a particularly sort of demonstrative bite. Just a little dip on the float, and I thought that's gone far enough anyway. There you go. Well, as I say, it was a long way away, so perhaps it was <laughs> a bit more of a bite than I realised. Well, I have to say, God, I am absolutely exhausted. My arm is really aching. My fingers have gone numb. I think I've got a bit of carpal tunnel come back from me keep, that I keep getting every time I go trotting for very long. Fortunately, it goes off again after a week or so. Trouble was last year, I kept going trotting. <laughs> it's one of those things, though, there's not much point going to the doctor because the doctor will just say, well, stop doing it. <laughs> Which is a reasonable point. So when it's something you love, you don't want to stop, do you? Oh, gosh, we've got about an hour left. Just chatting to the bailiff. Check the time with him. We've got an hour, just an hour left, so... Maybe we'll stick it out till the end. I think we'll stick it out till the end or till we have another barbell. Whichever comes first. I really genuinely, genuinely thought I had a bomb then. But it's moving. <laughs> Gen genuinely thought I had a bottom. <laughs> wow, this has got some power. Quite like to go under the tree. Yeah, really, really, really thought I had the bottom then. Exactly where I've been catching the bottom if I don't hold back hard enough. Just hold it there. Just going side to side. Just woken him up. <laughs> I'm just pinged off his fin, I think, or something. Certainly woken him up. 
Ház. There's no monster. There's a decent fish. Safe to reach for the net. I'm not sure it is, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure he's done yet. And of course, as soon as we do, he's going to be gone anyway. He's right down here. <laughs> he's under the net. It's almost in it. I thought we could sneak him in there without him noticing. <laughs> There. Just get his chin up, I think we can get him in. Power. me into reaching for the net <laughs> like they always do <laughs> god <laughs> I think he's done I think he's done got him <sighs> what a scrap <laughs> it's, not, it's not even that big <laughs> but what a scrap Oh, well, I said, I'm going to give it till, uh, till curfew or till we get another barbel. And we've got another barbel, so that's fantastic. Although I'm now thinking perhaps I have another, just one more cast, <laughs> as you do. Well guys, there we are. Another wonderful wide barbel. And I think probably the fish to finish on. Cracking. It's uh, it's about quarter to nine now, so uh, not long from curfew anyway. And uh, I, said, I said to myself, we'll we'll go to a curfew or we'll uh, we'll finish on a barbel. So happy with that. That's six for the day. Right, we don't want to keep him out. Let's get him straight back. Just leave him there till he gets his breath back. Oh, cracking scrap this one absolutely wonderful scrap done absolutely fantastic what a fantastic session that was at an absolutely cracking time six barbel and about 600 chub i mean it's been ridiculous i have no idea how many chub i've caught it's been a lot though i'll have to have a look back at the footage I'll stick a number on the screen, show you how many chub I caught, but uh, yeah, it's it's been a lot, I have to say. But yeah, that's me done in. My arm is killing me. <laughs> My arm is killing me. I've had enough. It's been absolutely wonderful, but uh, enough's enough. I'm not greedy. We could fish for another perhaps half an hour or so, but uh, I'm going to call it a day there. It's It's been wonderful. Now, next time I'm out, we'll be back on home ground. I will most probably be on the Avon, but certainly nearer to home than this. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that half as much as I have. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support. And I'll see you all again very soon.